Hello again everybody, it's the new Sam coming at you with another SH Figure Arts video review. And today we're looking at Kamen Rider Ichigo, or the or Kamen Rider number one from the movie Kamen Rider the First. So as the name implies, this is of course the redesigned suit for the original Kamen Rider for the movie Kamen Rider the First. So, starting with packaging, standard silver SH Figure Arts packaging. You got your black and white photograph of Ichigo right there. You got your movie logo, your figure name, figure name, figure name, figure name, figure name, warnings. On the back, poses, we've got close up on the helmet to show the fact that it's uh, different from the helmet that came on the original SH Figure Arts release of this mold, which was uh, Ichigo from Kamen Rider The Next, where he actually featured a, a severely damaged helmet in different colors. We've got his getting ready to beat some ass pose. Rider kick. And finally, of course, the big center image is the standard common Rider Ichigo henshin pose. Anyway, popping the figure open. This figure, standing right there, comes with the following for option hands. He's got these, which I assume are, I don't know, hand shaking or, or arm blocking or whatever hands. Two chopping, stopping, henshin posing hands. Two versions of his trademarked scarf. He's got the just hanging straight down version, or the wind blown or rider kicking version. And of course the figure comes packed with the fists attached. So, give me a second, I'll pop a scarf onto this guy. Here is Ichigo. Just standing real normal here. Um, first thing I want to say is this is quite possibly one of the most solidly built SH figure arts I actually own. Uh, he, he seems to hold together a lot better than either RX or Kuga, and um, that's saying something considering the fact that, as I previously mentioned, this figure is pretty much a repaint and remolded head version of the first figure arts release that ever existed, which was the same guy, only from Kamen Rider the Next. So taking a look at the figure, first off, I should note, his feet are die-cast, the same with RX and Kuga. Um, Posability is pretty much the same, though he features a different uh, hip joint than either RX or Kuga. So he can actually pop his leg out a bit for better straightforward kicking. Or for, you know, just better posing in general. Or I can just use it to make himself look a bit taller. Anyway. Other than that, articulation is pretty standard. You've got the amazing swivels all over the legs, movable toes. Uh, the boot itself actually uh, swivels, which is really cool. And I do really like the uh, the look of the armor on the boot here. One of the things that I always liked about the design from Kamen Rider the First was the fact that so much of it actually looked more like armor. I mean, these gloves. You know, I've got that bit coming down here, looking real nice. The chest armor, it's got the lines through it, the rivet holes, whatever else. And even the helmet is just fantastic looking. He's really cool. Um, anyway, um, elbows, sort of double joint. That one joint never seems to want to move nearly as much. Get your standard ball joint and, and multi-swivel for the uh, for the hands. Shoulder moves up and down and back and forward. It's got a swivel here. Swivels up and down there. Arm of course rotates. Heads on a ball joint. However, the high collar on his jacket and his scarf do limit where his head can go to. The eyes, as I've come to expect from figure arts, very nice segmented bug looking really awesome. Uh, the one detail that is not, you know, really great compared with later figure arts releases, by later I mean later than this mold was created, is the fact that the, oh, the little wheel on his belt here, uh, in if this were a modern SH figure arts release, as opposed to a figure that was designed in what was it 2005-2006 when, when uh, these started anyway uh, that would of course be covered over with a bit of clear plastic now but was not back then still though 
the belt looks really cool silver the white the red and of course the belt buckle in the back very nice he's got the metallic blue strips that mimic uh, uh, wings running down his back here and of course you can also see behind the helmet he's got a bit of hair Let's see if I can I'm show up a bit better. There we go. You can see that he's got underneath the helmet Hongo's hair. So design, posability, really cool. And I'll just throw on a few option hands and pose him a bit and give you my final uh, final verdict on him. Contrary to how it was depicted on the box, this is a bit closer to how he. Uh, did the pose in the movie. Instead of using the uh, straight out hand like that, his hand was slightly more uh, curved. His fingers were definitely splayed out a bit more like that. So there's his take on the uh, henshin pose for the for the rider. Arms crossed, scarf blowing in the wind. I don't know if he ever actually did that, but I thought it looked kinda cool. Some manner of fighting pose, which I guess could be another reasonable use for these hands. Rider face palm, or alternately using the same hands, ready to rough somebody up. Rider chop, and an approximation of this guy's actual rider kick. About like that. So final thoughts on this figure. Um, I think he's absolutely fantastic. Probably one of the uh, one one of my favorites that I actually got out of that whole set, um, which. You know, considering the fact that RX and Kuga are some of my favorite riders, that's saying something. But this figure is just built solidly. The articulation, the detail are all top-notch. The paint apps on this guy are amazing. It's just... I can't say enough good things about it. Um, the only gripe some people might have is the fact that his color is just inaccurate when compared to the original Kamen Rider. But that is beyond not an issue for me, because I really like the way he looked in the first, so... There you go. All right. Well, that concludes my look at this guy. Join me next time.